Hey everybody, welcome to Coffee and Grace. My name is Kara. Today we are going to be talking kids snacks. Um, today's Monday. My kids are going to be coming home from school soon and they are going to be hungry. So I'm just prepping some snacks for the whole week. Um, all of these snacks are things that you can feel good as a parent giving your kid. They're all refined sugar free, nutritious, They'll fuel their body and give them lots of energy. So let's get started. I'll turn you around here. So this first one that we're going to make is um, an oatmeal applesauce raisin cookie. Now there's only four ingredients. Um, all you're going to need are some quick oats some unsweetened applesauce, some raisins, and just a little bit of cinnamon. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna take one cup of the quick oats and a half a cup of applesauce. And then you'll just um, take as many raisins as you think. Um, it doesn't take a it doesn't take a whole lot. So just sprinkle in some raisins there. I should have had these open beforehand, but I didn't think about that. So, and then just sprinkle in probably about a teaspoon of cinnamon, and then just give it a good mix. Mix all those things together. You're gonna, um, when you spread these on your cookie sheet, they don't expand. They, um, they'll just be exactly how you lay them out. So, you could, if you wanted to, you could, if you don't have any applesauce, you can switch out a lot of different things with this. You can use um, pumpkin and um, just use a half a cup of some pumpkin instead of the applesauce. Probably if you use pumpkin, I would probably add a little bit of like um, maple syrup or something because the applesauce is a lot sweeter than the pumpkin is. And um, you could also use like smashed bananas if you have like some ripe bananas laying around that would work as well both of those things are binders like applesauce are so they'll hold the cookie together um this is a really good recipe if you have any kids or if your kids have friends that have any allergies this is really low there's no egg there's no nothing so and then you'll just take them by the spoonful spoonful <laughs> and um, just make a, like form a cookie with them and then however you want them whatever thickness you want them um, just do that before they go in the oven and because they're gonna come out exactly the same way that you put them in the oven so here they are I'm um, going into the oven I just put them on some parchment paper you don't have to do that I just did for easy cleanup all you do now is you just put them in a 350 degree oven for about 13 minutes and they'll come out yummy tasty and I'll show you what they look like when we're all done. All right y'all so while um, those cookies are in the oven we're going to go ahead and we're going to start with our next snack. So this next snack is super easy and it is absolutely delicious. Um, what we're going to make are just some yogurt cups. Um, all you're going to need, I have some, I have some homemade yogurt here. I actually need to use this up. So this is a great way to use up any yogurt that's about ready to go bad. Um, but all you're going to need is some yogurt, whatever kind. Um, some, I have some blueberries, any fruit that your kids like will be perfect. Strawberries, peaches, anything that will work and I just have some maple syrup here to sweeten it a little bit um, because my yogurt has no sweetener in it at all it's just a homemade fermented um, yogurt so it's full of those probiotics which we really want to get in our kids because they don't get those enough nowadays um, and this is a great way to get those probiotics in our kids guts um, just to keep their um, guts healthy and strong so all we're gonna do here um, this is these jars are so nice because they're measured by the cups so I'm gonna pour about two cups um, of yogurt in here oh I should probably shake it first 
um, my yogurt is really thin, um, but it doesn't matter how thick or thin um, your yogurt is. But pour about two cups in there. Perfect. And then I am gonna, my kids don't, we don't eat a lot of sugar and so they um, don't mind things to be on the not so sweet side, but you just make the measurements how your kids would eat them and how I would test it is I would take a little bit, but I'm only gonna use probably just a couple tablespoons um, of syrup and I'm just gonna mix that up well and I have a silicone muffin pan here and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and um, pour my yogurt into the each of the oh our cookies are done let me pause this I'm gonna go grab those out and um, I'll be right back all right now that I got those cookies out of the oven um, and I went ahead and I poured all of the yogurt into the silicone um, muffin pans. And then I just have some wild blueberries here. And I'm just going to sprinkle a few wild blueberries in each of the muffin cups. And that's it. And then all you do is you just put these in your freezer um, for just a couple hours. And they'll freeze right up. And they are absolutely delicious. Your kids will eat them and you will feel good about a snack that you gave them. So one tip, which I should have done beforehand, is to put, if you, if you are using a silicone tray like I am here, they'll come out very easily if you use a, any sort of silicone. I haven't tried these with like paper or metal or anything like that. So. If you do, let me know how it goes. I, I don't know how they will come out. But um, also, if you do have a silicone pan like this, a good idea is to put a baking sheet underneath it before um, you fill them with yogurt um, because I'm gonna have to transfer this to a baking sheet so I can get it in my freezer and it'll stay there. So that's it. Um, delicious, um, if you guys, try these let me know what your kids or you think about them in the comments below um i hope you enjoyed them hey everybody and for this last snack that i'm prepping for the week is some date balls this is super easy you can make it um with as many ingredients as you want what i have today are just two ingredients i have some dates and i have some coconut flakes my kids love it like this. What else would be good um, is if you had some chopped nuts. If you had any chopped nuts, that would be delicious in this. If you wanted to throw some chocolate chips in this, that would be delicious. If you wanted to um, put some cocoa powder, I've done that before. Those are delicious. But all I'm doing today is um, I have soaked. I have like about 12 pitted dates here. Um, you just soak them for like 10 minutes, make them soft, and I'm gonna put them in my food processor and process them up, kind of make like a paste almost, and I'm gonna roll them into a ball, and then I'm just going to roll coconut on top of them. So I just have my Ninja Blender here. I just have like a Ninja Cup because this is not gonna take a whole lot. This is easy to throw in the dishwasher. <laughs> So all I'm going to do is I'm putting the dates into my Ninja Cup here and I'll see you in a minute. I'm going to go ahead and blend these up and then I'll show you the process of me rolling them out. All right, so I have my date paste here. I just blended it up in that blender. And all you're going to do is you just take a little bit of it and you just roll it into a ball. And then I have the shredded coconut here on a plate and you just... roll the date ball into the coconut and it is absolutely delicious um you'll probably want to store the i like to store these in the fridge um but these are super good they have a ton of fiber so delicious 
Um, yeah. If uh, you make any of these recipes today, just let me know and let me know what you think about them. Um, I'd love to hear from you. And if you have any ideas of you guys have any of your favorite kids healthy snacks I would love to hear them because I'm always looking for just new different um, things to feed my kiddos thank you all for watching this video today I hope that you guys got some ideas um, of some new snacks to feed your kids I know sometimes I get in a rut and I just want something new um, and my kids love it too when they have something new uh, to enjoy um, I hope you guys are all doing good and we'll see you in the next video